Hi and welcome to Techie Anshi. In this video, we are going to talk about quadrant line charts. Basically, how you can build four line charts on one sheet on the Tableau dashboard. Let's begin this step by step tutorial. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please don't forget subscribing. Let's connect to the data source, which is the sample superstore data. And then you will be able to see all of these order related columns over here. Let's pull in the order dates onto the row shelf and then make this an exact date. Let's move this to the column shelf. Let's pull in the sum of sales onto the row shelf. And with that, we have our line chart. We can change this to a quarterly line chart instead of an exact date line chart so that it's clutter free. Next, let's duplicate the sum of sales in the row shelf and then make this a dual axis. Once we do that, let's synchronize the axis so that both of them are synchronized. Next on the second marks card, let's change it to a circle or a shape. When you do so, you are able to control the size of the shape or the circle that you have changed it to. If you change this to a shape, you can use any shapes that are available. It could be a circle, a square, a plus, a hexagon or anything else that you would like to. I prefer using the circles. Next, let's change the color of the line and then to highlight the lowest and the highest point or the maximum and the minimum sum of sales on this line chart, we'll create a calculated field and let's call this as max and min sales value. While comparing the maximum window value for the sum of sales with the total sum of sales, we'll be able to obtain the maximum and the minimum values of sales. Let's pull this onto the shapes or onto the colors. I'll pull this for now onto the colors and you can see the maximum value is highlighted in orange and the minimum on with red and all the others are blue, right? We can edit these colors and choose any colors that we like or prefer. Okay, this could be green or red or any other colors that you like to have on this particular dashboard. We'll go ahead and hide the header on the right side because that's not needed and then I can also move this to the shape and you could use different shape for this calculation. So for example, if you want to denote maximum with an up arrow and minimum with a down arrow, you should be able to do that. Let us also enable the labels on the on this and then make sure that we are only enabling it for the minimum and the maximum values of the sum of sales. With this, we have a wireframe that's ready for uh, the line chart. However, if I want to view the line chart by each of the regions, it is very difficult for me to compare these because they are all having their own independent axis. If I move this to the column, again, this is a bit difficult because it becomes very cramped. For this, we are going to create another calculation, which is called the row. This will enable us to build a quadrant like view. So we are going to create two calculation. One is the row and the other is the column. For this, I'm using an if condition and checking if the region is equal to east or the region is equal to west, then we are going to assign it a value of zero. This is basically like a coordinate that we are giving to these two values. Similarly, I'm going to duplicate this and okay, let's convert this to dimension and then pull it to the row shelf first. And then now let's go ahead and duplicate this and edit this to create the column calculation. For this, we'll leave the east region to have the zero value, but we'll change the central to have again the zero value. So what happens is it will assign these coordinates. The east would be assigned as a zero, zero. The central would be assigned as a one, zero uh, coordinate. So if I pull this column onto the column shelf, you can see four of these line charts getting formed and each of them have their own specific coordinate. You can add the regions onto the detailed shelf to see which region are these line charts for. For now, I don't need the tool tips. So I'm just going to remove everything out from here. And let's also do this for the other marks card. And then we don't need the header. So let's also hide the other headers that are available on the dashboard. Once we are done with this, I would like to also add an average line. So for that, we'll pull the average line from the analytics pane onto the pane shelf. And then let's go ahead and edit this particular line. This will help us to know what is the average by each of the different regions, right? You can use a broken line or a straight line, whatever you prefer. Let's go ahead and use a broken line for this one. 
and I also don't need these labels on this average line so let's change the label from computation to none and then click on ok this way we will not have any uh, labels or values around the average let's edit this and make it a little bit darker it's looking a little light for me and also remove the grid lines from the sheets this way you'll have a little bit neater looking line graphs next uh, you can also like drill down or drill up your x-axis using the plus and minus buttons on these axes so if you click on plus you can see the month level view and if you click on minus you can go to an year level view you can also drill down further as well as you would like to right now that we have all the quadrants ready it is difficult for someone who looks at it to know which region is for which quadrant for this i'm going to go ahead and annotate these areas with the region names so that it's easy for anybody who looks at it to understand what is the region of this particular quadrant or the line graph that we have let's move this to the top left and resize it and also give this a little bit of background so that you can read and know what's exactly that quadrant is we are going to follow the same thing for all these different quadrants so the first quadrant that we have is east so i've annotated that area similarly let's go ahead and annotate for the west which is our zero one coordinate which we created using the rows and column shelf next is our central so let's go ahead and annotate that as well let's move this onto the top left and then format it as well and finally we have our south so let's also annotate this area with this we are able to know exactly what each of the different quadrants mean and where do they exactly uh, are in this line graph so using this very simple tip of creating a row and column value for each of these different dimensions you could create more than one uh, placeholders for each of these charts that you are building so right now in one sheet itself we were able to build four different line charts by only utilizing this thing you can also use the min and max values to update or use some different fields like like for example you could use profit instead of sales and you can build out further stories from this so for example if i change the sum of sales to sum of profit in my calculation now what gets highlighted over here is basically the area the colors is basically the places where the profit was maximum compared uh, to the sales right if you see the south region although the orange line the orange circle out there you'll notice that although um, the the sales was very high but the profit was minimum which is a great insight that you could derive out of the data so by using these line charts you could derive not just insights but be able to build multiple line charts in one sheet i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and do let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section below reach out to me and i'm always available thank you so much for watching and giving your time to techyanshi see you on the next one bye bye